and I think we are live. <clears throat> let me know if we are indeed live. Uh, let me know if you can hear me. <clears throat> um, the chat seems to be working. Um, Alex Kvitteran. Um, hi there. <laughs> yes, I was a couple of minutes uh, delayed. Um, okay. So everything seems to be working. Um, <clears throat> now, it's, uh, it's warm. <laughs> and I have a fire going behind me. So... Um, there is really no reason to to use this hood, but um, um, <laughs> we have an issue with um, the little spiders <clears throat> in the cabin. Um, and uh, I was just thinking, what if one of them falls from the roof on my head during the live stream? Uh, I'm not very scared of spiders, but uh, that would be... Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I took the hood on. So I'm the hooded Viking, not afraid of spiders, in, uh, but a little bit um, if they fall on his head. Um, live from the Viking cabin. And we have three topics that we're going to discuss. Uh, the fire is really going. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. <clears throat> So I actually built the fire so that it would generate uh, quite a lot of smoke. That's not something you usually do, right? But okay. Um, the way this works is that uh, whenever someone gives me a super chat, um, that message pops up in the chat so that I will be able to... Uh, to see it, uh, I, I, I will try to keep an eye on, on the chat. Uh, American Nordic is here. Uh, I am with you on the spiders, hate them. Um, th these are actually, I think they're actually not spiders. Let me, one, two, three, four. Yeah, well, there are eight legs on them. So, uh, but they, they don't look much like spiders, so I I don't mind them so much, but uh, they seem to love the Viking cabin. I guess that's okay. They need somewhere to hang out as well. Okay. Um, Buan Buan Ergis two two oh two thousand and eight um, for a beer with you. Wonderful. Let's have the beer. Here it is. And let's open with the axe. It's not a sharp axe. It's just a a uh, a, a practice axe. You know when you practice with your friends. If you use a sharp axe for that, uh, they tend not to be your friend after after the practice. You know uh, that's just how it works. <laughs> Some people don't like that. School. <clears throat> it's a uh, Yulöl, actually. <laughs> um, wolf, the wolf. Skull, skull to you and thank you, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I needed that. It's non-alcoholic. I I don't bother getting into the explain, explanation through that. But the people who say that, well, you, you're drunk. <laughs> Even after I... Um, Electric Pheasant. Um, new member, wonderful, thank you. And Robert Cole. Um, <laughs> as says, ha, uh, ha, ha, Vikings have arachnophobia. Cheers with the brew. Thank you, Robert. Uh, those who 
tend to say, well, you're drunk, even though I say clearly, I even show you the bottle, you know, it's non-alcoholic. Those people are fools. That's just how it is. Um, so, <laughs> and again, I'm not saying you should never drink, you know, proper beer. It's just that I do not. This is non-alcoholic. That's just my personal choice. We're going to talk about personal choice in this live stream as well. Um, Safak Avdan, a wonderful new member. Thank you very much. Um, and as I've said before, YouTube may be difficult <laughs> at times. Ah, there are squirrels on the roof now. Yeah, squirrels on the roof and uh, spiders in the roof. Well, yeah, YouTube might be difficult at times, but they do recognize members so that a channel with lots of members will be, yeah, it's it's good for the algorithm. Elizabeth, well, thank you very much. Um, and school to you. So, <clears throat> before I forget, I will and um, Tawaka Beer Mall. Um, thank you so much. I've uh, been watching for years, just not very social online. Well, thanks for the don donation. Okay. <clears throat> yes. I will do a... Um, a live stream for members only right after this live stream. So um, it's just because it's sometimes nice to do these live streams for the members to the channel, and we can talk. We can talk more. We can discuss more back and forth. You know. So uh, I'll do that uh, right after this live stream here. Uh, so, uh, if you're a member or uh, you consider becoming a member to the channel, then uh, stick around and I will, after I finish this live stream, start another one for members only. Uh, and many people are asking about my friend here on YouTube, Matthias Treeman, and it is truly a mystery because I have his Skype address, and I've sent him a message, but um, no reply. Um, it's, um, I don't know what has happened, and his channel is gone. So, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. It's It's very strange. Now, <clears throat> okay, let's get into, um, yeah. Um, on this uh, piece of leather here, <laughs> I have carved some runes. <laughs> well, <clears throat> um, okay, yeah, I, some words in the chat, some words, words will be caught by the, by the, because those words are nasty or something, I can't read them all. So if your message is hidden, try to write the same, but with other words. Um, uh, okay, a question of Electric Pheasant. Uh, thanks for the donation. Do you think the Vikings made it to Min? Is that, I don't know where Min is. USA in the past, Native Americans have stories. Uh, yeah, well, um, we do not know how far south the East Coast, the Norse, uh, traveled. Um, we can only guess. Um, we do know that they went there, and we know that they probably went there for to get resources uh, that were not easy to find on the islands, Greenland, and so on. Um, that's um, <clears throat> uh, timber, 
and uh, uh, iron uh, iron in you know uh, is that not iron ore but the iron um, you get from the soil and you burn it right through a process there and you get iron and that's how they made iron and you need special kind of you can find it in 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 in, in the bogs or excuse me i don't know the english words for that but that process they went there to find that kind of soil if you will so that they could make uh iron as well um, and we don't know how far south they went um, maybe in the future we will learn more about that because of new advances in the technology uh, when it comes to archaeology and so on. now let's see um <clears throat> okay um uh power gr says greetings from poland well thanks a lot <laughs> no spoilers uh from the books but uh thanks a lot for the donation um okay let me <clears throat> get to uh okay yes now freedom um freedom is important and we only have freedom if we can choose and if we are free to choose we do not have freedom if other people are making the cho those choices for us now i'm not talking about kids of course and there are prob there are uh, adults who because of illness and so on cannot make choices for themselves but um I'm talking about for adults and normal circumstances if there is no illness and so on everyone I believe should have uh, the freedom to choose what they want and what, what they want to do say and not do not say and so on uh, as long as their choices do not impact other people in a negative way so here's where it becomes a little bit difficult and i really need to comment on the recent developments when it comes to the mystery juice um and i am not go i'm going to use code words you will now hear me stumble a little bit when i talk because i need to be very careful um, the mystery juice is the stuff that big p <laughs> ph companies are selling to governments now so that they can be put into people's under the skin stuff place <laughs> that's what I, I mean by the mystery juice so now I truly believe that it must be everyone's choice if he or she wants the mystery juice or not. And I will not be looking down upon. I will not, be, if you say yes or no, I will not say that, well, you're bad, stupid, less than me, or so on. Because I respect everyone, every adult's personal choice. And likewise, my choice not to have the mystery juice, <clears throat> I expect that to be respected. I expect to have the same rights. I expect none of my rights to be taken away because I will do the same for people who choose differently. Now, <clears throat> I have a friend who said that he left my unsubscribe to all my channels because he was getting abuse in the comment section because of his choice. Uh, it's not very, it doesn't really matter what his choice were, but what it was, but 
I think we we need to practice what we preach now. And we might think that a certain choice is wrong. I certainly know what I think. I certainly know what I think everyone should choose. But it's just that we must also allow other people to make foolish choices, as long as those choices don't affect us. And what worries me now, what worries me greatly is to see how these governments, they are putting in place rules and regulations that will serve and is serving as a huge incentive to make people make a certain choice. And again, I am sorry that I'm talking around the subject. Um, that is also part of uh, the problem. I have to talk around the subject because if I say these words here on, on YouTube, I will not get the money. They, they will demonetize. And I mean, I... I built this Viking cabin that I'm, I'm sitting here. It, did, it was not done for free. Um, and part of the reason why I did that was that I wanted to be able to make videos and also now live stream. So, you know, I'm this is a job for me as well, you know. Uh, I like to view it as a hobby, but it takes a lot of time and it, it's, it's, it costs money as well. So I actually do need... For this to be sustainable, I do need an income from YouTube. So when they take away that, um, Wolf, uh, thanks a lot. I won't be able to read your comment there, but thanks a lot. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. So if, you know, uh, as... Vikings. And I view you all as Vikings. We care about honor. And that's not, that's not, you know, some people would laugh, haha, that's ha, what they're talking about. No, it is a real thing. Honor. It's a real thing. And if we're going to come out the other end with our honor intact, I think we must respect other people's freedom and we must be able to say at the when we got out the other end of this mess if we ever do that we must be able to say i i respect always respected other people's freedom to choose i can say that i did that i i stood by my principles and this is extremely important i find this extremely important so I just wanted to mention that um, because it, it just, you know, I had a friend visiting yesterday. We were sitting out on the porch, is that what you call it? And he said that his, uh, his uh, workplace had said that you have to get the mystery juice or else you will be fired. And that's not, you know, according to the government and those people and mainstream media, that's not happening here in Norway. Well, it is. It is. So he had no choice. He felt he had no choice. And if I were to say that you're a fool, I would be the fool because I'm not, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be an honorable thing to say. Okay. Um, I hope I uh, saw all the super chats. Uh, I'll have some more beer. This is heavy stuff. It's 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 heavy. And and let me add that even though people are not respecting my choice, and that's very common now. 
Um, Cherry Dagger, uh, thanks a lot for the donation. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Um, even even though I face ridicule and so on, I will not meet other people with the same. I won't do that. So, <clears throat> um, Tawaka Birmal says, honor is being lost as most are happy being sheep. It's true. It's um, it's true, you know. And but then again, you know, I would never call one individual you're a sheep. I wouldn't say that. I'm I. I might think so, <laughs> but I would never say that. Um, Diana Boss. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Um, KG is KG here. Um, seal center seven, skull. Well, skull there. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And uh, Ram Idad Desad, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, yeah, I'm reading the comment. I can't can't read it up out loud, but yes, I'm nodding, you know. It's cool. Now <clears throat> um yeah. The other thing I wanted to talk about is the concept of gaining wisdom through pain. Um, the KG is here. Hi there. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, yeah, it's, it is warm, but it's a it little, little bit better today. Um, we have some, we have a breeze. So yeah. Um, wisdom through pain. Pain can be physical, it can be mental, emotional, and um, I find that people who have been through a lot of pain tend to be wiser. I don't know why that is, but um, I think for some people, you get a better understanding of other people's struggles when you yourself have have to struggle and pain makes you struggle right so i don't want to get too deep into this but i i have a chronic pain my, myself uh, you have heard me <laughs> complain about my headache um and um and I have I have a headache today, so I woke up with a headache, and I still did the writing. I write every morning, and all the other things I I needed to do today, I didn't get to do any any weight, lift any weights because that I just couldn't do. <sighs> Um, but um, I must say I feel wiser because of the pain. I also feel more tired at times, but it's just how it is. Now, I'm not saying that we should embrace pain, but I, I'm saying that we should at least understand that there is something good that can come out of having pain. There is something good in not the suffering itself, but you know, if you go back to certain cultures, 
the um, the shaman, in lack of a better word here, you know, um, would sometimes go through rituals that were painful and uh, made made him uh, fall into a uh, pain induced trance, if you will. And it's a common theme that through that pain, he would see things that we can't see. He would be able to talk with ancestors and so on. And I think that's an expression of wisdom through pain. It's an expression of the clarity that you get through that pain. So it's it's not something I want to get too deep into, but uh, we should also try to tie this to the times that we are living in now uh, with a lot of emotional pain. Lots of people are suffering. It's um, there's a lot of isolation. Lots of people are tired of being told obvious lies. Um, and I think people are getting tired. People are getting tired. And um, yeah, well, Seal uh, 77, Odin is a prime example of what he went through to get to Rune's aid. Of course, why didn't I mention that? But of course, yeah, it is It is absolutely an obvious example. Um, and if we if we look at today's society and what we're living, living in right now, um, it, it certainly is, um, we will gain wisdom from this. If, if we keep thinking for ourselves, because if we just, just swallow whatever we're told, we will not get wiser. But now the sun is sinking, and that's why you can see it here. So I will, I will do like this, and I'll sit here and close the door a little bit. Oh, that was too dark, <laughs> like this. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I think I'll have to close the door. That's not so bad. <clears throat> okay. Um, Mikael says, thank you. Uh, do you guys want me to read out uh, the super chats or, or not? Let me know. Uh, I'll just briefly mention what you are saying here. Um, Michael, I ask you're going through some anguish presently and fancy myself a stoic, but I've, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It, these times are very hard. And oops, I hope I didn't miss any. Um, okay. The, the chat just, I don't know what. Yeah, I'm. I am. Um, I think I'm up to date on the chat now. Uh, it's okay. Okay. Um, I'll just keep talking because uh, when the chat uh, starts moving too fast, I can't uh, keep track. Okay. Are this better? Is this better? I think this is better. Okay. Let's <clears throat> go. <cool>. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. The eternal student. Um
if any of you know knows who who was the professor who signed all this letter with student and i think he has some kind of equation i think he was in mathematics um who, who was he and he signed all his letters with student and i can't remember his name but i i um I heard about that when I was a student uh, at university, uh, but I can't remember his name now. But uh, the point is, he he did that because he said that we must always be students. We must remain students. Now the sun is bothering me. Now let's see what can we do. <clears throat> this is better. Ah, uh, I'm right at the, the wrong angle. Hmm. Uh, what can we do now? Let me see if I can step better. No. I think that's better. Can you hear the siren? Siren. Can you hear, hear it? Uh, at the moment, uh, because where I live, uh, right by the sea, and now it's so crowded out there, and um, every year there are people drowning, and then you will hear the si si sirens. Yeah. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. The eternal student. I think we must remain students our entire lives. And it's not a new concept. It's a way of living that is very primeval. Because our ancestors had to adapt constantly. When, you know, they had things like climate change, uh, migrations of... Uh, of the, you know animals um if they were a kind of people like nomadic people uh, they would have to adapt to new surroundings they would have to learn about the plants the vegetation the animals um it was a constant state of studying your surroundings and i find it very awkward when people stop being students or some people have never been students well they do their years in school and then they're not um students anymore yeah well climate change i use that expression because um <laughs> i'm I, I i wasn't planning to get into that but it's <laughs> i mean <laughs> We have had ice ages and so on. So we have had climate change before uh, the ice age. Um, as the ice, ice was retreating, uh, new animal. Uh, we have the helicopter as well now. And more sirens. That means, um, yeah, it's serious. Because they take the helicopter out to find the people who, who are, are drowning or have drowned and get them swift, swiftly to, um, that was a spider on me there, swiftly to um, hospital. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> let's see. Another spider. Hold on. Just get the spiders off. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> yeah, so um, that's what I meant by climate change. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, are we 
Are we good with the spiders now? Okay. I don't think there are more spiders on me now. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we need to remain students. And by that, I mean that we should keep being curious and interested in, um, in new topics. Uh, we should uh, be readers. We should be students. And now that we have all this information coming at us and constantly we need to be better than we ever before have been at filtering out the, the nonsense, you know? So some people say that they have, uh, they know a lot and they think they know a lot because they read Facebook posts. That's not a reliable source of information. It's like it's like saying that you've read about something on Wikipedia and therefore you know about that subject. <clears throat> it's not like that. Um, you should get books, you know. Uh, and, and of course you can read books online and so on and, and but when people have put the time and effort into writing a book, that's that makes it that means that it's it's better. What should I say? It's more reliable. It's usually more reliable than just something that someone write wrote on social media. <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We shouldn't. We shouldn't complain about the spiders. No, that's true. Um, it's just that they have they have a party here in my cabin, and I don't like that so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Now. So that was what I wanted to say. Now, I would like to get more into the chat here now. And um, as I said, I will, <clears throat> after I finish this live stream, I will do a live stream for members only, members to the channel. So uh, in case you wonder, the way to become a member is to go to the uh, channel page or I think maybe there is under under the image here maybe you can become a member um, so um, yeah but uh, let me see now <clears throat> um, okay the king I'm not uh, I, I missed something here I don't know Okay, I'll um I can show this one. Oh, seal seventy seven, wonderful. New member, that's awesome. Okay, um Elvis, well, Elvis in, is in the house, not <laughs> Elvis is in the building. Um, he is um, he is um, in the house, and uh, uh, sleeping, I think. <laughs> and we have a problem, you see, with the fence. Um, we haven't gotten anyone to put up the fence yet. It's so hard to get people to work, to do anything without, yeah, it's, it's difficult to get people, to, you know, builders. It's so difficult. So what are your thoughts about human civilization? Uh, that's a wide question. Uh, and thank you for the donation. Um, I think human civilization is, 
it's one of the good thing about it you know one of the reasons is that one of the good things is that it has brought a lot of joy to people ended a lot of suffering and made many things better but uh, it has come at a price so what can i say i think we are at the moment moving in the wrong direction um many reasons that i i, I say that but uh yeah okay <clears throat> Three trolls. Okay. I didn't see any trolls actually. Um, Elon Musk. Yeah, well, Renegade. Elon Musk. Uh, I do not like Elon Musk, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, I think some of his projects are infringements on the freedom of the human population. His plan to shoot up, was it 20,000 satellites, something like that, it's just so problematic. And it's not, well, it's problematic that he wants to do that and he's probably going to do it, but it's the most problematic part is that world, no, the governments in the world are letting him do that. So, yeah. Yeah, and he is a technocrat and he doesn't try to hide that fact, I think. Um, and the micro, the fusing people's brain with microchips and all that. It's, you know, that technology applied to people who have some kind of, you know, uh, if they have been paralyzed or something like that, it's, ob it's an obvious good thing. But saying that we all need to do that, as he is saying, because in artificial intelligence will somehow become, yeah, and all that. I won't get into it too much, but it's, um, it's like, <laughs> it's like setting your house on fire because there are ars arsons in the neighborhood, you know? Uh, Morpheus Christos, uh, thanks for the donation. Um, can civilization peacefully coexist with nature? I think yes, absolutely. Um, I think it can. It does not at the moment. As Sifirs, um, new member, wonderful, wonderful. <clears throat> um, yeah. S um, Shanet, sure, I won't read your entire comment there, but sociopaths sociopaths have some it's it's quite easy to recognize them too it's quite easy if you know what to look for um to know if you're dealing with a sociopath or not i would say psychopaths is a little bit more difficult actually um, but Social parts have, um, again, it, I'll try to be careful, but um, 
there are some of the presidents, prime ministers, people in charge, or at least they appear to be in charge at the moment, who have, I would, I would be surprised if they are not sociopaths. The way they are wording themselves when they are off script is very much how a sociopath would word himself or herself. Um, it is a bit scary to watch, to be honest with you. It's a bit scary. But if you read about sociopaths and even psychopaths, you will see politics mentioned as one of the professions that they are drawn to. So we should keep that in mind. Sociopaths, they don't have much empathy. You know, they view people as just another commodity, just another thing to, uh, to move around as, uh, <laughs> you know, to make everything uh, fit so that they can uh, realize their grand plans and so on. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, you're not well. Don't drown in this mess. No, um, it would be worse not to try to think about it. You know. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm <laughs> Um, I think uh, marriage is out is is not uh... <laughs> yeah um, no um, no let's see here <laughs> solar storm will miss there's a lot of funny comments now was a solar storm will fix a lot of the mess um. Uh, yeah, Bran. <clears throat> um, I have uh, thought a lot about that. What do we do with the mystery Jews and all that <clears throat> when they are pushing it so bad? Now, okay, I need to sort out. <clears throat> it got very dark here now. Okay. Well, again. <clears throat> yeah okay um i will end this live stream soon and go over to the or start the members only live stream so and um, in between there i'll i'll uh, i'll fix the lighting here uh what do we do when they are pushing it so bad uh, yeah in other words when they are making life difficult for those of us who won't accept it <laughs> you just deal with it because i think the worst thing uh that could happen to anyone is to well at least you know um the worst outcome would be to give in it's it might solve some issues there and then but it will just be devastating for your self-esteem for your uh, mental health for your health <laughs> and uh, i would say just just hang in there we are strong and uh, some people are going to be very, uh, some people are going to be uh, surprised. And they will learn the hard way that they were very arrogant, believing that um, we could be pressured and into making a choice that we don't know, don't want to make, you know. We will just, no, hang in there. Okay, Luke and Mum is here. Uh, wonderful. Um, okay. 
Ja. Um, I am going to. Um, and thanks a lot. And thanks to everyone who made donations. And thanks to everyone who uh, who uh, have uh, left a, a comment in in the chat. Um, I will end the live stream now, and I will move straight over to the members only live stream. So again. Thanks a lot. I'll try to do these live streams, uh, these live streams uh, on um, at least once a week. That's that's the plan. You know, I haven't found a. Uh, I think I did the last one uh, on Monday, maybe or Tuesday, and then Sunday, uh, maybe Sundays. I don't know yet, but I'll, I'll try to do them once. A week, and then you'll have, um, and then we'll have um, um, the members on the live streams in between. Okay, um, Dad Schaefer, anything we can do about social atomization? I don't know what that means, uh, but thank you for the donation. Um, is that people getting more isolated and so on? Um, I should know what it means, but if it means that, or people becoming more, um, you know, isolated or keeping to themselves, it's not so much we can do about it, but uh, again, you know, hang in there and stay strong. That's uh. Okay, uh, I'm going to end the live stream now and uh, fix the light here before I start the members only live stream. And thanks everyone. Um, and to the mem to the members, I'll see you in a a few a couple of minutes. Yeah, a couple of minutes. Bye bye there. <laughs>